Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diksha. I make videos for a living. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you plan to stay. And if you're watching and you're a regular subscriber, thank you so much for the support. It means the whole damn world to me. So today I'm doing a video that I had promised a long time back. I feel like I was just collecting everything that I required and perfecting the setting before I could do this video and I think now that I have that it's the right time. So let's go ahead and talk about how I shoot and edit on my own. So my work requires a lot of shooting. Lockdown, no lockdown. Because even if I'm not working with brands, I'm constantly creating content because this is what I do and I love making videos. I love being in front of the camera. I love being able to express my thoughts and my style through videos and um, this is what I do. So even when I was alone for the second lockdown this time, I had to figure out how to do it on my own. It was a lot easier the second time around, I'm not gonna lie, because we saw it coming and I had a lot more equipment. Uh, I had uh, lights this time, I had a better setup, a better knowledge of doing videos since I've been creating like Instagram fashion videos for a year now. So I think I have perfected the setting that works just right for me uh, so I'm gonna talk you through all the products that I use and everything that I use you don't need the exact same things but I'm just gonna tell you how I shoot and how I edit my videos so that you get a clear idea first things first when I went back to Theradun the second time during this lockdown I, I I bought myself a backdrop previously what I did uh, when I went last year was I used to shoot with a cloth backdrop on my terrace and uh, it used to be really really hot because it was the peak of summer but that's how I used to do it. and I loved doing it even though I had like multiple meltdowns while shooting but I loved doing that but this time around I wanted to shoot indoors to make it a little more convenient because no matter how much I loved it it was very chaotic uh, it was very difficult shooting in the heat the light was constantly changing so I had to figure out a way that worked best for me so I bought myself a, a backdrop so I buy all my paper backdrops from studiobackdrops.com they I believe have everything that that you need uh, all kinds of colors and they deliver really quickly so that works perfectly so I got it delivered there and um, I usually I get the ivory color because I don't like a plain white but uh, you can use any color that you want they have multiple options uh, or you can buy paper backdrops off of Amazon as well the second thing I use is uh, the backdrop stand which again I bought from Amazon it's from ProLight I believe and uh, I've been using it for like a year now and it just works perfectly so the stand and the backdrop are the first things that I needed to set into place. Second very important thing when I'm shooting is light. So my house in Dehradun, unlike my house here in Gurgaon, does not have a lot of natural light indoors. Uh, you know how old houses are made. They don't have huge windows and they were not built like that. So there was no source of natural light if I had to shoot indoors. And I've been looking to buy a light for a really long time and I finally gave in and I bought the Godox uh, light. I am going to write the model number in the details. I'm gonna show you what the light looks like. And I also bought an Octa box, which I think makes uh, it a lot more easier for me to handle it. Uh, I was so excited when I got the light because uh, I mean it was like a big thing for me like that I'm buying equipment for my business that's gonna help me grow which is it was really exciting. The light, the stand and the Octa box cost me around 12-13k. I'm gonna give you the exact numbers as well uh, in the bottom but please make sure to check that out. The third thing that I use is a phone or you could use a camera. I use my phone to shoot videos. I fix the light settings, I use the back camera and what I do is ha I have a mirror in front of my tripod. I have a mirror so that I know exactly what I'm shooting and I can get the best quality from the back camera. 
so it just gives me the right kind of quality and sometimes you won't be able to tell if it's shot on camera or a phone and um, it's very very easy you can of course use a camera if you have it's going to be even better quality but for now when i was shooting alone this time i just used a phone and i feel like i can get great quality videos uh, with just my phone. The next thing is the tripod. This tripod is from Sony. Uh, I did not buy it. I took it from Vishnu. Um, this is a really great tripod. It's a very high up. It goes very high up and uh, you can adjust it to whatever angle that you're looking to shoot from and over that I use this phone mount which is a uh, which holds my phone whenever I'm shooting. Of course, it makes it very convenient. The tripod can also hold a camera, so it just works fine. Any decent tripod should work. Now about how I edit. So one option is you can edit on your laptop. Uh, use uh, Premiere Pro or Final Cut, whatever works for you. But for me, whenever I'm shooting the reels, I feel like the quickest way for me to shoot and edit is to do it on my phone and today I am going to talk about an app which I believe is going to help so many of you. Um, the app is called Filmer. It is so easy to use. The interface is super super easy. The app gives you a vertical timeline and editing flow. The app also offers two features. Either you can record from the app and edit directly which is very very convenient or you can import footage from uh, your camera or whatever footage that you've taken and edit it on the app. When you're recording from the app it has a lot of features like the boomerang and the loop. There are so many fun things. It also has a lot of transitions and effects which are very very popular these days. Basically you can express yourself through this app. You can do whatever you want to, use various fonts that are available to add text, various transitions, edit however you like, change the speed, put filters, everything that you can imagine when it comes to editing you can possibly do in this app which is brilliant. One of my favorite things about this app that it has over 20 million tracks that you can choose from. You don't have to search for tracks from outside and import them if you want to you can but it also has a huge library of music to choose from according to your taste and preference i'm going to give you an example of a video that i have edited on the app and it turned out to be so beautiful about how I shoot and edit. Just remember that whenever you're shooting, the video will come out great if you're just confident and yourself and not worry about who is going to watch it. Just be yourself, just um, try to be as authentic as possible and the outcome is going to be great. And don't beat yourself up if it doesn't come out perfectly in the first go. Trust me, it takes time. Once you keep doing the process, you're gonna learn things that work for you, things that don't work for you, and eventually you're gonna find out what's your perfect technique. This was mine and I hope it helped you. Please leave your questions in the comment section below. I will make sure that I answer it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. And I will see you guys again really, really soon. Please subscribe to my channel. Huge giveaway at 50K. I have promised that uh, we are very close, so let's do that. And you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see all these videos that we talked about. And uh, I'm gonna see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.